Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's episode. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how I decorate my Christmas tree and a few easy DIYs. Hope you enjoy. Oh, and do you want to see a magic trick? So apparently for Christmas lights, you're supposed to add 100 lights per foot of height. I only used four sets, which was a total of 400 lights, and it looked fine. I don't like it when it looks overcrowded with lights anyway. By the way, my tree is only seven and a half feet tall. For this DIY, I'm going to show you how to make wood bead ornaments. They're really popular, but they're really expensive, but they're so easy to make. All you're going to need is going to be some wood beads and any cord of your liking. I like to use jute cord and since I'm going to use jute cord and it's really thick, I'm going to use an ornament hanging hook just because it's easier to thread into than a needle. So I'm going to use it instead of a needle. Make sure that your cord is long enough because you are going to fold it in half so that you thread it through the beads. Um, the reason why we're folding it in half is because we're going to make the top um, a loop which is going to be the loop that hangs on the actual tree and we are, are going to also tie the ends uh, so that the beads don't fall out and you don't want it to be too short because then you're not going to have that space available to tie them at the ends. And this is the final product. I love how these came out. I love the wood tones. I'm really into the wood tones now. And I feel like they add a little bit of a natural look to the tree and I'm really enjoying it. Now for this DIY, we're gonna make white berry faux ornaments. They're so easy to make and I'm gonna show you how. All you need is some white pom-poms, um, felt fabric, and of course, jute cord. Obviously, you can use any cord of your liking. I like to use jute cord because I like the natural look of it. I'm obviously going to freehand these and cut them by hand because I feel like um, this way looks more realistic to me and it was much faster anyways. To give the leaf a more realistic look, I am going to glue the bottom of it together and fold it. And then I'm going to glue three leaves together per set. To help the leaves stick together, I'm using these tweezers that came with my Cricut. Um, these help so that I don't burn my fingers. And now all I'm doing is obviously gluing the back um, or the jute cord to the back so that it works as the hanging part. And then I'm going to add three white pom-poms to the front as berries. And this is the finished product. Um, I actually wanted a more like a sage green for the leaves, but the craft store that I went to didn't have it, but it looks really good anyway. So this isn't necessarily a DIY, but I'm gonna be sharing with you a tip. If you have kids, I would not use um, the hanging hooks because they're really dangerous. Especially if you have kids, they can play with them or they can take them off, um, not even on purpose, but they can get lost. And we've stepped on a few last year, so I decided not to. Um, I would use any kind of cord. I'm gonna use jute cord because it'll tie down like the rest of my decor. And that's all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching uh, i can't wait to share with you more and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video bye